Yeah, how do you like it? That's good to hear. That's good to hear. So you were running on your S770, right? And I was kind of, I was, I have a S772, so I was kind of worried about horsepower and how, how it kept up with the 16 row head. But you said it worked fine. Yeah, well, that stuff wasn't yielding that good either. So, I mean, if you got into some high yielding stuff, it may, it, she may bog down a little bit. Sounds good, Chuck. I'll see you later. Bye. So I just got off the phone with Chuck and he was one of first, he was one of the first deer country customers to demo our 16 row corn head that we got, just got in. It's a 16 C and we've had it in for a while, but what's happening right now is I don't have another customer who's on corn right now. Uh, there's nobody around town. And so I'm on corn. I could be a customer. So we're going to play customer. Uh, we're going to take the S770 and throw a 16 row, a 616 C on here and see how she does. Now, Chuck actually had an S770. I didn't sell him it. Uh, he bought it from Platte Valley a while back. He said it ran fine with with a 16 row corn header because the S770 it's not it's not as much horsepower as the S6 or S690. It's not as much horsepower as the S780 or S790. It's a little bit on the sketchier side, especially if you're running in really high yielding corn. So what I'm going to do first is we're going to get back harvesting. We didn't get much done yesterday, yesterday at all. There was nothing done. So I'm going to fire up the 8130 and today is just me. I don't know if I'm going to have help or not. So that's one of the reasons why, heck, I was like, let's test out a 16 row corn head because we're going to be going slow anyways. So I might as well run down to the dealership, grab a 16 row corn head, bring it up here and mess with it so I can have some fun myself. So I'm going to put the 8130 right here, run back, grab my semi, put the semi right here, run back, grab my grain cart. All three of these are most likely just going to be used for storage. Not, I probably won't be running the grain cart at all. By the way, guys, just got to say, if you enjoy the farming vids, please hit that like button. It definitely helps out the video a lot, and uh, it's just it's awesome to see. So thank you. And next up, the big old Mac. Now, I think what I'll do is I'll just drive the combine down the road to deer country. It's literally right there. So I'll take the combine down there. We'll switch out the heads and then drive it back up. Hey, there's Stevio. No way. I think he, I don't know if he's harvesting or what today. I just heard the horn go, but I was like, oh, shoot, that's Stevio. We are going to have to get a vac and vac up some of that corn that we spilled the other day here because I can't. I, that's like 200 bucks sitting on the ground right there. Hey, Stevio. Hey, Grant. What's up? <laughs> Not much. You got the new comments, dude? Yep, I got a new <laughs> ram. Holy crap, dude. This thing looks sweet. Got a plow mount on her. She got the high output, yep. thousand torque. Holy crap! Oh yeah. What are you I up like to that. today? Uh, I just got done with my harvesting. Well, the rest of my corn's too wet, so I had to okay. shut it down. Okay. Man, I I hate to ask you this, but can I use your help at all today? Oh yeah, yeah. I don't have much going on right now. So we need. Well, so right now I'm I'm picking up a 16 row corn head to demo, but Whoa. I have all yeah I have all these. I have all this storage here, and if I could have somebody run a grain cart, I could knock this field out in like a couple of hours. It'd be insane. Oh, that'd be nice. I want to see this big 16 row in action. <laughs> yeah, I know, you, dude. I know you're a Case fan, so I mean that Steiger, she's brand new. She has like four hours on her. You want to run what? the road track? Yeah. What? Am I hearing a John Deere man talk <laughs> about a Case? Yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. And then we got the 1430 JM special 1432 uh, gravity or uh, green cart. Yeah, that thing is back. sweet. I just love that flag on that thing. Yeah, but imagine, I, I was telling the other guys this. Imagine if that whole thing was painted with like an actual flag. Well, like, instead of having the black, it would just all, be all red, white, and blue. And there goes Stevio. With the 16 row corn head, I probably, I probably shouldn't be uh, driving up and down the road, but we're going to do it anyways. I'm going to let her warm up for a bit and then we'll get going down the road. Now guys, with the nature of YouTube right now, I always try to incorporate something crazy happening. So I know people are going to be like, dude, it's so unrealistic how crazy, how much crazy, how much happens to you. Like getting stuck one episode, then getting a, then getting a 16 row corn head. You're always just getting new equipment and stuff. That's just... It's part of it. For farming especially, you gotta incorporate new fun stuff. It can't just be boring farming. So hopefully you guys understand that. Uh, I just, I'm just always trying to make it exciting. My style of operation, I guess. Okay, car coming. Get off to the right. And we made it. Chuck brought it back last night, so it's there. Now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this because I need to switch out the corn heads. I need, I, I don't know, I gotta get a 6R or 7R out to move that corn header so I can get in there 
and switch these out. But I'm going to go run in and talk to Jimmy and tell her what's going on at least. Because I don't think we have any more demos lined up for today at least. So I, I just got to talk to her. Sounds good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have fun with it. So yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is fire up. I got keys to, I think it was the 7R here. I'm going to fire up the 7R, hook up the header trailer to it. Or I could use my pickup ah, pick hook up to the gooseneck over there. Fire up the 7R, hook up my uh, header trailer to it. And then move this thing Holy crap, dude. Oh, this is gonna be crazy. Maybe what, you know what, man? Maybe what I should have just done is just pulled this down the road straight from the start instead of running down to the dealership to pick it up. There we go. We're hitched up. And oh my gosh. 30 inch row, a 716C. This is gonna be crazy. So when I think about this more and more, dude, this is so sketchy. I shouldn't have ran this down the road. Or what I should have done is just pulled this back to the farm. Switch them out of the farm. This is going to be so stupid. I hate dropping headers on the ground, but for now, just for a couple minutes, we're going to have to drop this header on the ground. Also, I don't know if I told you guys or not, but uh, the Apex Game PC sale is going to start this Thursday, November 28th. It's going to run through December 2nd. It's going to be our biggest sale of the year. Um, I think I'm allowed to tell you. I think they confirmed this, but it'll be like 20 to 25% off on all PCs on the Apex Game PC website. You don't even have to be out by a squad PC. If you even if you maybe you just like a different one better. That's I'm totally cool with that. You can still use the squad discount code on other ones. Um, it'll be 20 25% off. Just at least check them out if you're in the market or if you're comparing different PCs to different sites, because I can guarantee you Apex Game PC the price is gonna beat out most uh, most competitors. And heck, it may even be cheaper to, to buy an Apex Game PC instead of building your own. It's crazy. Holy Tamoli. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. I don't know how I'm going to even get out of this parking lot. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is just grab a different combine that's over there. Just move that combine over here, lift that header up, and put it back on the trailer. Okay, we're going to leave that running. Fire up one of my combines over here so we can just lift that header on. We'll just fire up. I think this is this the S690? Is it? No, we sold the S690. It's the S680. That's right. Look at that butte with a 16 row corn head on it. My god, dude, who would even want to buy a 12 row corn head like this? That's just a joke. So I'm going to run the S680 back over to its original home. And we'll probably just leave that over there for now. Because I'll switch these out in a day or two again. And this time I'll get smart about it and drive the tractor down to my place to switch them out. So we're not driving the 16 row corn head down the street, taking out cars, taking out signs, or damaging anything. Okay, here's the sketchy part right now. We gotta run this down the road over to our cornfield. Let's get her done. Let's get her done safe. And it's only me. I don't have any scout ahead or anything like that. I want all the lights I can get on this thing. I want this thing lit. My god, dude, this thing is... No cars to the right. Perfect. Any cars to the left. Once I do it, you gotta go. You gotta commit, man. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get it going. Wow. This scene is huge. Oh my gosh. We're almost there. So far, no cars ahead. Any cars behind? No cars behind. Okay, that wasn't too bad. We made it to the field. I'm gonna fold, fold the grain tank. There we go. It should be out. And this is what we got. An S770 with a 16 row corn head. We're only going into 150, 160 bushel corn, guys. If this was two, if this was yielding 220 bushels to the acre, it would be rough, and I probably wouldn't be pushing it this hard on this field. But since it's yielding 150, you know, that's like a 20, 30 percent decrease in yield, it'll be fine. Okay, gonna fire her up, make sure everything's good, start digging in. Now, we ended this row with a 12 row corn head, and we didn't end it all the way. So I'm not even gonna use the full head right here. To finish off this row because I want things a little even. We are gonna fill up so quick. And right now CV is not back yet. So I gotta off the comb on the CV. Yep, I'm just pulling up here. Okay. I'll come catch you. Dude, we are pushing eight mile an hour here. I'm not using the full head length just yet, but uh wow. I, you know I only have uh 50 bushels in the tank so we got a little bit but I'm assuming this thing's gonna fill up pretty quick but I'll let you know. Grant you there? You got uh screens you got uh like a scale screen here and got oh, a, GPS, yeah, yeah. a Gag leader. Yeah, dude, I didn't even put that stuff up. That it came with it and I was like, holy crap, I don't even know how to use most of that stuff. Wow. I'm still getting used to the 16 row corn head, but man, CPI, I'm all over the place. It's gonna take me a while to get used to this. Thing is giant. Yeah. And running down the road? 
Oh man, okay, well right now I'm only using 12 rows. I need to put this in out to 16 rows, but running down the road, I was, dude, I was, I was, I was peeing my pants, man, coming down here. I was so scared that a car was gonna come. I was gonna take out something. It was wider than the whole entire road. Man, that's, that's a little ballsy going without a header <laughs> cart there. Yeah. Does it bog that uh, combine down with that much corn going through? Yeah, right now I, I, it's, it wants to pick at 8 mile an hour. And I think 8 mile an hour is way too fast to be picking because we're probably losing some out the back. So I'm going to drop the speed down to 7 or 6 mile an hour because 8 mile an hour is just way too fast. There we go. Yeah. Okay, we're at 41% already. Okay, we can probably unload because by the time we get to the end, I'm going to be about full. Run 6 mile an hour if you want to set cruise control at 6 mile an hour there. Got to figure out where I need to be here. Yeah, it's a little tough. There we go. Nice. You're good. I'll cut it off if you... All right. There we go. Dude, Stevia, we're putting out corn so quick. If you want to just stay along with me for the end here, because I hope I hope to God I can make it back on that next pass without getting full. So I, I want to be empty at the end of this row, so I have all the room in the world to make it back. But, man. Okay. Well, I got to cross my fingers and hope I can make it back in one pass. It's going to be okay. interesting. All right. I, I guess I'll uh, meet you at the other end, Beans. You're probably going to be full over there. Okay, that'll work good. Done for. Put r quite the ruts over here when you got stuck. Well, the green machine eight, dude. This 16 row corn header is insane. There we go. Okay. What's your uh, bushels per acre here? Oh. I'm only getting 160 bushels to the acre, but man, if we if we were running 220 or something, this would feel, I I don't think I would actually be able to make it a pass. Luckily, I was able to make it down there and halfway back, but 220 would be insane. One six. Okay, I am empty. I'll catch you on the All next right. pass here. All right. I am. Which do you want to fill up first over here? I'm thinking uh, fill up those gravity wagons first. Those will fill up quick, and then we'll and then we'll load the semi. Wow, movable spout and all. Well, that's nice. Uh, no, I I just unloaded it, but uh, this thing. I like how high it sits because I can see easily right down the grain cart and yep. your spout. Stevio, have you ever ran a John Deere combine? No, I have not in a long time. Do you want to run a John Deere combine with a 16 row head on her? Uh, yeah, if you uh, oh, force me. Dude, you got to try this thing out. Okay, here, on, on this next pass down here, I'll let you run her. All right. So a couple things. She wants to push okay. eight mile an hour. Uh, when you run through this, but when you run a 16 row corn head, even I can't handle eight mile an hour. So push her down to yeah. six mile an hour. Uh, okay. Run her, run her slow. I'm just running max RPM here, of course. Um, okay. And it's pretty simple. It's it's pretty much like All the right. case. So jump in her, you're good to go. This thing's like almost like a draper head, almost. <laughs> yeah, dude, it is wide. You gotta be you gotta be careful with it. Man, Stevio, the only thing I really dislike, and it seems like all tractors are having this, the 9RT, I gotta take a look back at the 9RT, 9RX, but this giant exhaust they just put here, that like blocks half your screen, or half your, half your view, the corner post of your view. It's kind of annoying how giant this thing is, but to be honest, to be fair, the 9R has this too, and I think the 9RX has something like this too. I wish they could find some other place to put the exhaust, because this thing is just huge. There we go. And I'm surprised, man. This John Deere still wants to go eight, even though I'm unloading. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that thing is insane, man. She's a beast. Dude, it's, uh, man, when you breathe that point up about sitting high in the cab tractor, or in this tractor, I just now realized that. Like, this is kind of nice. I can just look back at the green car and see pretty much everything. Dang. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah, you can always work out a demo for me, that and the ARX. <laughs> Stevie, I got you, man. I got you. Since you yeah, right. Heck yeah, brother. If we, if, we get, if we get an ARX in, you'll be the first one to demo it. Same with the, okay. the, the co new combine. Wait. Can't wait. That's what we want to see, dude. What we want to see. Flashers are almost going to go off. I'm coming up on you. Don't want to get cap corn on your new combine here. Six mile an hour, right? So, uh, is this your only field of corn this year, or you got more? Yeah, this is my only field of corn. I was, there was a field that we didn't even get planted, which is horrible, um, because the weather was so bad this spring, if you remember. But, yep. yeah, this is my only field of corn. I was hoping to do some custom work, but I haven't had many people that actually need custom work. So I got this huge operation right now with huge equipment, and we don't really even have that much ground. So, if you, if, CBO, if you ever need help harvesting, I got you, man. Tell you what. 
probably get a lot of requests for this big 16 row head though. <laughs> yeah. No, well actually, dude, we've only Stevio, wait. Stevio, if you ever want to demo the head, I got you, because I I'm only gonna be demoing this today and I'm gonna be done with it. Chuck demoed it the other day, he was the first one to demo it. I'm the second one. If you want, we can put it on the list and you can be the third one if you have corn yet. Man, it's a good looking rig over there. I love it. I love the cut the red and the black and the red, white, and blue. It looks so good. I think you're right. If that whole thing was a flag, that thing would be nice. <laughs> yeah, dude, imagine that. I I think that they just need to step it up, man. That, that that's the only thing I think. I think it would be insane. And imagine like the news and marketing. And everywhere would be talking about the grain card that's a flag. And it doesn't seem like it'd be that much more work. These things are already, you know, pushing yeah. six figures almost. Might as well just toss a sweet paint job on it. Okay, I think I'll go and load this. You should be able to make it, shouldn't you? And I'm empty. See if you after you're done, if you want to go top off this semi. And then I'm going to run the quad track back to the farm here. Probably put her in the shed. Okay, quad track's back. There we go. See if you unload the rest of the semi. And then these two gravity wagons are full. I may run these to the elevator or I'll just take them to the bin. Need help moving these all back? Yeah, so what I'm thinking about doing is just, I don't know if I'll truck them or what. I don't know, it's a Sunday right now, so the co-op's probably not open. I think I'm just gonna take them to the, just to the bin site right there. So I'll just go drop them off if you want, if you want. You know what, oh, you have a truck dealership, that's right. Jump in the yep. back, jump in the back and follow me and we'll go and load at the bin. All right, you want me to leave that uh, green machine out in the field? Yeah, just leave it here. Fire up to 8130 and move it over there and unload this coin. Did I tell you guys how much I love this 8130? It sounds so good. <laughs> I love it. So what we'll do is we'll pull th down through here. Usually the best way to do it is to come down here. It's kind of a wide turn, but we got room to turn. And then we'll turn in right there and start unloading. Okay, both of these are unloaded. Should be good. And then Stevio can pull in here and unload his Sima. These kind of take a while to unload, but once these are unloaded, I'll just have you pull through here. It's working good. You get into racing over there. Got yeah. a trailer and all. Yeah, dude. A lot of the local farmers are starting to get into racing. We're starting a racing series. Dude, what you need to do is you need to... Uh, you should... If a, deal, if a good deal comes up, I'll let you know about one. But man, you need to get a sprint car. It's so fun. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> It is here. So I don't here. Actually, I'll, I'll, let me pull the gravity wagons forward, and I want to I want to show you my sprint car. Heck, I'll even pull out the trailer. Right. You can rip it around the farm a little bit if you want. Oh, sweet! I'm gonna probably start this unloading then. Okay, I picked it up uh, two or three weeks ago, and I had one race. Uh, I think I got second. Jake, oh. you know Jake, right? The local farmer around yep. here. He uh, he's a good he's a good driver. But yeah, oh, man. you want me to? You want you want driver? I'll get her. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll pull her off here. She's loud. You may need earmuffs, but she uh, she rips. Wow, that thing. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. I got all the sponsors on here and everything. Got the squad Instagram, squad Motorsports. Wow. Oh yeah. Wow, that's sweet. Let me see this. Jump in her CBL. Give her the beans. <laughs> oh yeah, she rips. I love the sound of her the most, probably. She sounds so yeah, good. Yeah, that thing is it's mean. Crisp. Well, I'm going to get loading this thing back up and then get trucking, but I appreciate the help today, CBL. No problem. Dude, if you want, if you want, let me talk to Jimmy, because um, Jimmy makes all the decisions, but I think we can get you that, I think we can get you that 16 row corn header if you want it. And CBL, to be honest, man, uh, we're going to be demoing the S790 soon out to people. So I know you said you don't have combine that can handle a 16 row corn head. But if you need it, we have the S790. I could probably get you hooked up with the S790 and that 6, 6, 616C header. That sounds tempting right there. I might have to take you up on it. Okay. Okay, just let me know. I got to I gotta confirm with Jimmy, but I think I think we can get that done for you. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good, Stevie. I'll see you later. All right, later. Well, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. We got those 40 acres done. It's probably more like 50. I think it was 46 or something, to be honest. But... Uh, we got those knocked out. The next is beans. Our beans, I want to get that cornfield knocked out quick. And then we're on to beans. Usually you do beans first, then corn. But uh, these beans are fine. They're good in here. So we'll be on to beans. And I got one more other field of beans that we'll knock out. And uh, we'll be done with harvest. So thanks for watching, guys. As always, hit that like button. And uh, seriously, thanks for the support lately. We hit 800K. I don't say thank you guys enough, to be honest. So thanks for watching, guys. And hey, I'll see you later.